In sales, there's a tactic you can use that hardly anybody is using correctly, but it can be extremely powerful in getting a deal done. It gets buyers thinking, wow, this company loves me. I want to work with them. We're going to talk about executive support, what it is, what it isn't, and how to use it extremely well to close more deals. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm Matt Wallach and I help software companies accelerate their growth so they can get more leads, close more deals and achieve an incredible valuation having that awesome, awesome exit. And today we're gonna talk about executive support and exactly what that is and what not to do around executive support. Now, before we do that, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed, you're gonna miss out on all kinds of tips and tricks and even experts that I bring on the show to help you understand how to grow your business. So hit that subscribe button button right now and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified of when a new tip video is out so you can accelerate, you can get better. Also, if this is valuable to you, help me out. Like the video. When you like it, it shows me this is good. This is stuff you want. That way I can make more of it and give you more help. It also shows other people that this is something that's valuable. So they're more likely to watch it. They're more likely to take this information and grow with it as well. Also, if you have any questions or comments, definitely hit the comments down there. That'll show me what you're saying and what you're thinking. That way I can reply and get you your answers for that. Okay, executive support. What is executive support? Now, have you ever been a part of a sales conversation and you feel like it's going well, maybe you're the sales rep, it's going well, they like it, but they're just not quite all the way there. They're not quite to the point where they're ready to take action, they're ready to move forward. It can be very frustrating. It's like, what can I do? I've already shared this, I've showed this, I've proven this, it seems perfect for them. Why have they not moved forward? And sometimes there's just things that buyers are not willing to get to. They can't get to that final stage of taking the action. At this point, it could be a very big win to have some executive support. Executive support refers to when a higher level person from the team, from the sales team, or even the C-level person comes into the conversation and helps boost it, helps get that buyer over the hump so that they sign on the dotted line. Obviously that's an old term, but we wanna be able to bring this person in like a CEO or a CRO or any other type of C-level or even maybe a VP of sales or somebody like that who can come in and offer their experience, offer their wisdom and help the buyer realize that this is something we need to do. Now, let's talk about what executive support is not first and then we'll talk about how the how you can do it really well. Executive support is not having that executive take over and run the entire call. It's not having the CEO do an entire demo. The problem with that are two things. One, the buyer's gonna be like, wow, the CEO has enough time to go through all these demos and do the demos every time. If you're small, if you're a tiny company getting started, totally okay. As you grow, as you get bigger, that becomes a little less good. You don't want the CEO doing that. First of all, they've got other things to do. And second of all, the buyers aren't going to absolutely love it. However, if the CEO can come in for a few minutes, can offer their help, offer their advice, maybe show some support, that can be very, very powerful. What is executive support? Executive support done well is when you get the CEO to come in, share a little bit, talk about what they can do, talk about how they can help the team, how they're going to support this new customer and why they care about getting them to where they have to be. So it would go something like this. What I like to do is have the CEO come in at the beginning of the call. When I'm the CEO, I'll step in at the beginning of the call, just do a quick little 20 second, 30 second thing. And it goes something like this. Hey guys, I am so excited that you guys are taking a look at our product. It really feels like a fit based on what Steve has told me. And I just wanted to let you know that our entire team will be here. You've got my word that we are going to do everything we can once you get started to make sure onboarding goes great, to make sure your experience is fantastic so you guys can achieve all of your goals. I will make sure our entire team is focused on doing this for you. I do have to run to another call, but I did want to stop in and say hi and make sure that you knew we were here for you. 
Take care, guys. I'll see you. And if you're starting to get to a bigger company, that CEO title starts to carry weight. And when a buyer sees that, that the CEO cares to stop in and say hi, even though they have a busy pack schedule and that they're going to make sure the team is behind them, that can be really powerful. And it can absolutely get a deal that's kind of stuck to move forward and get over the line. So if you are a sales rep, if you're leading a sales team, understand that you can use some executive support, get a C-level to pop in. And if you're a C-level and if your team is asking for this, make sure that you do it. Give your time. You can really make a big impact. But the bad thing, do not get too long on these conversations. If you get too long, it becomes training wheels. The sales team stops thinking they can do it on their own. And you're going to have that CEO as a crutch, meaning the sales team can't grow. So find the right balance, have executive support come in, help you out, get a deal done, and you'll be rocking in no time. Hope this helps. Thank you very much for coming and we'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you.